coming up on iPads in the Classroom, Guy will be teaching us about Hebrew today. Hi, my name is Ashley Roki. And I'm Guy Training, and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge. And today, I'm going to talk about... Hebrew. Yes, and I'm going to talk about four apps that can help you learn some Hebrew, but I do want to make sure that everybody understands that these apps are very good for practice. They're not excellent at teaching because there's just not enough in them to teach a new language. You can learn a few letters, a few sounds, um, but you won't get the full sense of a language. But if you are already studying, or if you want to start, this is a great way to just explore what's going on. And we'll move to the first app. The first app I want to talk about is called Ivrit, which means Hebrew in Hebrew. And this has a limited subset of a vocabulary. And what you can see is that you have words here. And if you click on the word, you can hear what it says, or you can record. So right now it's in record mode. It's recording my voice saying the wrong things. And this is the word in Hebrew. It says toda. So you've got a recording, and then you've got the word, and you can program new words into it and say toda. And now toda. you can do the comparison of what I said and what the pre-recorded voice said. It's a way to practice those new vocabulary words and hear and self-monitor whether you said it right or not. So that's one way to work at this. And you can see that there's a selection of words. And you can select it by going to Hebrew. And you can start with the English. It's the same words. So that's not a lot of work. But as you can see, very limited subset of tiles. If you want more than that, you've got to purchase. So this is just an entry point, a little bit of practice, but no more than that. And that's very common in, in language learning apps. You get that kind of thing. Do you want to try one? Sure. So this is in Hebrew. Shalom. OK, ready? Shalom. 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 Very nice. So this is a way to practice. Shalom. That is nice that you can hear yourself yeah. back, because a lot of the times you think you're saying it correctly, and you're not. And so you hear their voice, your voice, and then their voice again. So you have a way to think about it, at least. Now, the second one I want to talk about is actually a, an app that works in all languages. We've used it to talk about Chinese, to talk about English. You can use it across the board. And this is called Sight Words. And what you can do is you can actually add new words in different languages. So it works well in English, but you can do it in anything. Now, it comes with English pre-programmed. So there are words selected, just like we saw in the other app, that are already there in sets. But you can make your own set. And when you make your own set, you can add new words to it. So right now, you can see I can create the text. You just bring up a keyboard that is in Hebrew. And you can see that on the screen. I've uh, changed my keyboard to Hebrew. And then I can write a word like um, toda, which is thank you. And now, after writing it, you can record it and say, Toda. And we can play it back. Toda. And now we can save it. And now the person using it can uh, use this to practice that word. So they'll see the word, and then they'll practice saying it, and they can hear it as well. So it's very similar to the other app. You don't get pre-programmed words. So if you don't know Hebrew, that's going to be really hard. The flip side is, if you are a teacher and you're teaching Hebrew, that's exactly what you want to use, because you can add the relevant vocabulary words on a daily basis or on a weekly basis, or however often you're teaching. Create these and then share them with the students so they can have something to practice with. So if you are teaching Hebrew or if you're learning Hebrew, you can ask your teacher to create these. So this one is called Sight Words. The next one that I want to talk about is called Makore. And it has three levels. And this is the beginner level. Uh, the reason I love Makore, which means uh, what's going on, uh, 
is that it has more than just vocabulary. So you have, for example, nikud, which are diacritic, diacritical vowel sounds, uh, because in Hebrew, uh, the markers are above and below and inside the letters. They're not as letters, uh, vowel letters. So you can learn that. You can learn basic consonants. So y there are other concepts that are shared in this app that are not necessarily shared somewhere else. And here is where you can learn also the alphabet. So they have different levels and you can really uh, start at the beginning with this app and listen to. So you have a letter and if you go mm -hmm. into that letter, you can hear the name of the letter, and if you go further, you can hear words and how that letter sounds in different parts of the word. So we've got here at the end of the words and in the middle of the words. Favorite word? Chocolate. 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 Yes, <laughs> see? We all need important words <laughs> in Hebrew. So this one is called Makore, and the last one I want to talk about is Word Power Light. Now, Word Power Light is very limited and really invites you to uh, go in and get buy more, uh, but it does have nice uh, word sets, vocabulary sets that you can practice. In this app, you have collections of words around categories. There are over a hundred words that are available for free. You can hear them. You can do the same thing with the voice recorder. You can record your own voice and you can see that on the bottom. You uh, just record and play over. So you have that practice. What I love about this app is it puts the words in context. So it has sentences. So if you are a little bit more advanced, it does place the word beyond just practicing a word in a sentence and lets you show a, or see how it really functions. And uh, as a result, I think that this, is, this has really interesting potential. But again, all of these apps that I talked about today are supporting general instruction in Hebrew. It can't replace instruction in Hebrew. There's just not enough there. And it's not uh, based enough on learning principle that will allow you to learn a new language. For that, you need to hear a lot of language, practice a lot of oral language. And that requires a lot more interactivity than these apps provide. So today, we talked about some apps that would help teach Hebrew as support. And we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.